Hello, my name is Chris, and I'm going to show a tutorial on how to install MapTool Build 89, which is the current latest version. Okay, first we're going to go to the website at rptools.net, and there are two ways to install it. There's the launch method, which I do not recommend. It puts it in a folder hidden deep within your Windows uh, profiles, and so I like to use the manual download. Once the file is uh, downloaded, we're going to want to unzip it to a directory. I saved it under downloads. I'll look at my most recent one. This is a zip folder. They look a lot like normal folders, but people sometimes uh, confuse this for an actual folder. Uh, if you try to run it in the zip folder, it's going to error out. So be sure to extract all, and then usually uh, it creates the folder name for you. We're going to cancel that. I'll try that again. We're going to give it a new folder name. Okay, and these are the um, files you get. Now we're going to make sure we have the correct Java version downloaded, and that's going to be uh, Java 7. Um, it also depends the 64-bit system or not, and when you install Java from the java.com site, it automatically downloads the 32-bit uh, version. If you want this 64-bit version, then there's the see all Java downloads. It'll show 64-bit, I believe, only if you have it. Then we're going to save that link as, and we're in downloads, so we save it. I actually don't have this one installed, so I'll go through that process right now. We want to make sure we use uh, the default one default install folder. That's going to install it on your uh, C drive under program files. You see how there's a program file is 86? That's for your 32-bit uh, applications. And it's going to be under Java. And uh, a 7 should pop up, and there it is. I went to this uh, folder just to verify it's there for a reason, and you'll see that in the coming up. Okay, as far as the making sure the correct version is installed, the correct version is typically whatever appears under Program Files, Java, GRE 7. If you have that folder, then it's the correct version for you. 
So if you have a 32-bit system, it'll be in the same location. If it's a 64-bit system, it'll be in the same location. Uh, the 64-bit system with the 32-bit install would be under the, the other folder. The same path, though. And people get confused about that sometimes. Okay, the uh, bin folder will have that opened up. Okay, now that we have Java installed, we want to create a Windows shortcut. And uh, I currently I made one over here. We're going to end up putting it inside the install folder. So I go to downloads. This is the current one I just downloaded. We're going to put it in this folder here with the jar file. Now, um, here is the quick and dirty way of doing it. If we just go to edit, what I usually do is, I believe this doesn't work. So what we need to do is just give it the actual name, which is map tool dash one point three dot b eighty nine dot jar okay and actually now here we have some memory settings uh, as the file thinks it's one gig and that's this memory here. Your max memory is 1024 megs. But uh, the default 512K for your stack size is much too small. So we're going to change that to 3M. And that's pretty much good for most systems. Uh, XP 2M, you can get away with that for most uh, frameworks. But 3M is pretty safe and pretty uh, reliable. And we want to make sure that's the correct file name. And just to verify that way works, we'll go ahead and run it. It'll create a pop-up and it'll stay resident until map tool is actually uh, completed. And that closes. Now the way I wanted to show you was uh, the shortcut method. That's what I put down here. So I'll go ahead and just I'll leave that one there for now. We're going to go back to the uh, Java folder that we have under bin. And we have Java w.exe. That's the one we want to create a shortcut for. So what we do is we just create shortcut. Can't put it here, so it's going to put it on the desktop for us. Here's our desktop. Now what we want to do is move this over to our install directory. Paste it. And we'll actually give it a, an actual name. Okay, we're still creating it. Okay, um, that's just the first part. Now we have to do a little bit of editing. Uh, you can find some help on the uh, website under the uh, boards. If we go to, I believe, Map Tool, apparently I'll log in. Go to Map Tool. Under How To, there's a couple of uh, places, but I think this is the quickest one to find. I'll end up putting uh, another topic with the video tutorial 
to make things a little easier, probably in the same location. But uh, I also wrote this a while ago, to how to create a map tool shortcut. And this is a uh, process that I'm, that I'm going through. And um, the main thing with this is to put in all this information here. So we're going to go to I'm going to copy that, and we're going to edit the uh, shortcut file we just created, which is here. Go to the properties, and it already has the path there. Now you want to actually add the um, parameters. which was just here. Ah, here we go. And we just add that outside of the quotes of the call. Again, we're setting the memory to max memory. If you have a 64-bit system, uh, you can actually go higher, but I generally don't recommend that because most of the users who connect to you will be at 1024 and if they start having issues and you don't then it could be their memory settings and you wouldn't even know about it until the game had started and things would blow up. Anyway, uh, you have your 1 gig and then you have your 3 meg, uh, three meg um, stack and then the, the file name which is the uh, jar file name. And the start in folder, we want to change that as well. We want to make it the current directory that it's in, which is this directory. So we just paste that. And you can put it in quotes just to make sure that it's uh, interpreted correctly. If you had like spaces or characters that uh, are not valid, it may not start. Okay, and um, we'll go ahead and change our icon. We're going to change our icon to this icon here, the Map Tool Launcher one. So I'll click on that. Then we're going to browse. We're going to browse to the folder we just uh, created. Click on the EXE. And I think they're the same, so we'll just click OK. And apply and say OK. So now we have our shortcut here. In order to put it onto the taskbar in Windows 7, uh, I think we just pin to startup menu, pin taskbar. Let's try that one. Or just drag it. <laughs> oh, I know why. It's locked. You need to unlock your taskbar. Click, oh, what's over here, actually? Well, anyway, clicking that now just runs it from your taskbar. And you can unpin it later. Oh, there it is. Unpin it when you don't want it. But uh, now we're going to verify our settings. So we're going to start Map Tool up. Now, since I already had uh, Map Tool installed, it's going to have all my settings already in the game. Um, but generally speaking what you want to do is go to the help, gather debug information, and then see that this number is in the 900 range basically, just so you know it's the correct amount of memory. You can also see what version of Java you have. Make sure it's pointing to the right one. 
which with a shortcut guarantees it is. If you were to run just the batch file I first created, then it, it may not uh, be defaulted to that version there, which could cause problems. Okay, and then um, one other small thing because of the some bugs under actually preferences, make sure to uncheck insert smileys. That's only the only critical one. You can take a look at some of my settings here as well. Uh, generally speaking, um, 120 or 240 is a good number for vision distance. Uh, it cuts down on the lag, basically, when you have that. And I don't have system sounds playing. And that's, um, I think that's all we need to know for installing Map Tool. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next tutorial.